Hello and welcome to my channel, AB Make It Art Works, where we do what we do to make that artwork for you. And today's going to be a sketchbook tour. This is probably the fourth time I've recorded this. The first two times I tried it on my phone, didn't work too well. Uh, the third time I did it on my iPad, which is what I'm currently using to record this with. And I made the video too long. And there's a thing about videos being too long, so I'm going to try to keep this under 15 minutes so that YouTube will allow me to post my video. Oh, disclaimer, or viewer discretion advised, there will be some nudity, but there is no sexual suggestion with the nudity. It's mostly figure drawing and just studies. So let's get on with the sketchbook tour. So, I've, as you can see, I've personalized my sketchbook, I have a sticker, and paper. The sketchbook was made between June 14th to July 31st of this year. And I'm just going to flip through the pages, I'm not really going to explain it a lot, because, like I said, I'm going to crunch, unless I find it really interesting. Oh, if at any point you want to just stop and pause the video to look at something, you can do that. Yeah. I like, I like these coming pages. There, there's no context for this. Uh, where I use gel pens. By the way, this is Rebecca from Snarled. I was really into that for a while, watching the series. I like their creepy content, and sometimes... I draw when watching their videos, or, yeah, I like to listen to a lot of stories when I draw. Oh, by the way, sometimes once I finish a book, I go back to see if there's any blank spaces, and I fill them in, so that's what's up with that. But yeah, this is my sketch pick. Lots of things. I like to study things around me and make up stuff. I think I'll draw hands a lot. Oh, I think the next couple pages like this one starts with me being at a cafe. Like here's some people I drew. I like this guy because he was wearing like a Willy Wonka colored shirt. And yeah. Ah, there's Todrick. Yeah, yeah. You probably saw that video. Or maybe you didn't. I don't know. But yeah, sometimes I like to listen to stories. Sometimes I enjoy listening to documentaries or just people's opinions on the internet. Sometimes I'll just listen to music. That's my husband. I didn't finish that portrait. We were on a date. I didn't finish his face. Oh, this is a place that I walked to. I tried to draw it, but that tree, it made me so mad. Back at the cafe, I'm drawing people. Well, actually, I think these people were in uh, this environment. And this person was at the cafe. But yeah, at the cafe, they play jazz music all the time. And sometimes they just sit there to draw. It gets me out of the house. It's something to do. Random faces. Yeah. This character is from Caravan Palace, or was inspired by that. I forget which song it is, but it's an interesting song. I probably recognize these animals. There's some that I like better than others, and yeah. Oh, this is an exercise I like to do. I like to make random panels and then make a comic out of it. I really loved how that one came out. Um, so maybe some updates. Since re-recording this, I have decided to make an Instagram account. I also have a Pinterest, by the way, uh, under AB Make It Artworks. I'll probably put in the description how I write down that handle. And I've also made a Gmail account so that if there's any questions or requests for drawings, like if someone wants me to pay for a drawing or just wants to see me do something or talk about something, they can send questions to that account. Again, I'll probably put this in the description bar. Um, 
Um, I think other than that, I'm considering making other social media handles, but I'm just not sure yet. Birds. Bird Keeper Toby. Oh, I like... If you've ever checked the people that I'm subscribed to, I'm subscribed to over, like, um... Supposedly 300 people. So I have a wide variety of resources to watch when I get bored. Really like how this room came out. It was one of the first rooms I tried to do one point perspective with without actually being prompted on the idea of one point perspective. I just was trying to draw a room off of this one video where someone drew a room. I like drawing mythical creatures. And then there's horses. Oh yeah. <laughs> Me trying to do a city escape in one point perspective. Got tired of that real quick. And now you'll see where the gesture drawings start to, to happen. And if you've seen my one video on gesture drawings, you'll know like why I color them in. Like I don't always color them in when I'm doing them for the one or two minutes. Um, I usually go back to color it in or go over the lines so that they're darker or more pronounced with color. This is my husband, by the way. Isn't he adorable? But I draw him. He doesn't notice it until after I tell him, like, hey, I'm drawing you. He's like, okay. More gestures, and I think these models for the last few gestures are from New Masters Academy. There's actually quite a few different resources. I think three, but I can only think of two off the top of my head for, like, resources. All these comics. Random comics. All very cute. I watched a video on how to draw butts and how to draw about the sexy butts and so uh, that kind of inspired this page. I like some of them. Some of them worked out well. Some of them didn't. I really like how this came out. It's one of my favorites. Well, I like the figure itself and like this side, but this one, meh. But I still like it a lot. <laughs> Witcher 3, Bog Mama. <laughs> These are my hand when my nails were longer. Yeah. I don't think I ever really have any cohesive idea of what I'm drawing. I just draw things like there's my husband's feet and there's my foot. These are random feet. And sometimes I draw people at cafes or places I go to. Most of the time I'll draw the human figure. And I know I need to get better at drawing the male figure. Again, this is New Masters Academy models. I think this is episode three or four. I don't remember. It might have been episode three. Oh, you'll often see, like, I'll write notes about things I need to improve on. And this is how I map out the male torso chestal region. Um, it makes it a lot easier now that I've figured out that this is my way of drawing male chests. Oh, sometimes I also go to a friend's studio. Like, these drawings, I went to a friend's studio, and they were painting mermaids. And I just sat there and just doodled the entire time. Like, I did this while I was there. I got these markers from her. Uh, I don't have them with me, but I'll probably, like, write down what markers these ones were. It's a pretty cool. Did these gestures when I got home. I really like how these came out. I love doing gestures. They're one of my favorite things. Like, figure drawings and gestures. I guess those are more like figure drawings than gestures. I don't know. Um, but yeah. This is really fun. This is a photo reference from a book that I have of um, people in poses. Yeah. Oh, these ones are from Croaky Cafe. I realized I said it wrong the last time I referenced it. And um, maybe as you've heard, they have this 360 pose and it's pretty ingenious. And what they do is they stick a model on a revolving stand have them do a pose and then revolve it every minute so that you get a different angle and then you get 360 preview. 
and they've got a lot of great videos. Like they've got a video of people holding stuff in their hands and all sorts of things. Just great stuff. I know New Masters Academy has like more models that are wearing stuff and a variety of different models. <laughs> These two characters came out really cute. I used a clear graffiti pen to get those lines for postal lines and then these brush markers to kind of shade them in. Trying to do perspective, not very successfully for room development. <laughs> I went with my husband for a sports day, like mandatory physical training sports day at, he's in the Navy, and they have this uniform that's a yellow shirt and blue bottoms. So they look like minions is the joke that he goes off about. And it's funny, because they took it in and they look kind of nerdy. Okay, we're, we're good on time. Oh, more mythical creatures. This fawn ended up really cute. Like, at first I did a weird pose with, the, like, the legs, and I decided, okay, this looks kind of weird, but maybe if we make it into a fawn, and then I loved it. And then I started playing with brush pens to see if I could create more fawns. See, this is from the Croquet Cafe episode, where they showed hands holding objects or interacting with objects. And here's a page of me trying to see if I should try to do a signature with my new last name. And I decided to just stay with AB. I also like testing out pens and seeing how they work. This is kind of a concept sketch. Uh, might go through with it, might do some more concepts. Uh, Sithahen is a Celtic mystical figure related to divination and fire. This is the outside of my balcony. I think we're almost actually at the end of this. <laughs> actually, we are. I'm watching a lot of Rick and Morty because I'm excited for the new season for that. Um, I'll make notes sometimes. Like, he looks how I feel about this drawing. And this is to the Ranting Griffin. There's a drawing earlier, too, in here. And that's when he was playing uh, virtual reality. I almost wish this was my last page because it's really nice. But I'm happy with my last page. This is the last page, and on the other side, I have my goals for my my next book or things I just want to get better at. And something I want to do is uh, write out the end of pages. Uh, I guess on an end note, do what you want with a sketchbook. As you can kind of see, this sketchbook was super messy and had no real order to it. Hopefully. I'll get better with these kind of goals that I have, like project development, scenes, landscape, seascape, perspective, character design and development, anatomy of animals and plants, and uh, buildings and cityscapes or houses. Because I really do want to get better at these things, because if I ever do consider doing more legitimate work, I kind of have to get better at these things. And as an artist, this is just the steps I want to take so that I can grow more because I tend to focus on people and the form. Anyways, just want to wish everyone out there a wonderful day and that you're all doing, hope, well, I hope that all of you are doing great and that you always remember to do what you do to make that artwork for you. <laughs> like, Comment, share, and subscribe, please, if you want to see more content from me. And have a wonderful day. Bye!